Futurism is a blending of science and a blending of technology that is able to hopefully propel mankind forward in a better, more meaningful way as we are able to uh, improve our own lives with our own means and with our own intelligence, which is a concept I love. Uh, so I want to start talking about futurism by itself in a special segment dedicated to the idea. And with that, I bring a very idealistic or hopeful invention, which is a water harvester that is able to derive water from desert air. Now, usually that sounds like a concept that's not able to be done. It's crazy humid, it's incredibly hot. This is a very dangerous place for many people and for animals and for life in general a lot of the time, unless it's adapted to it. Humans, not so much. Um, but there were some researchers from UC Berkeley that were able to craft uh, a two-chambered device filled with metal organic framework that is able to make it um, so it's able to capture the moisture that's ambient in the night air and hold on to it in the hot, humid desert, uh, lack of humid, dry desert air. Let's take a look at a video. The key component of this device is this powder. We call it meta-organic framework. It is composed of organic molecules and metals. We we'll leave it overnight because during the night we have a lot of water content in the atmosphere so this water molecules get inside the framework and stay there. When this powder heats up the water molecules come out of the framework and we can collect them as a liquid water. After we collect water at the bottom of the device it's absolutely clean, it's 100% pure and you can drink it right away. Cheers. Then we do shots of water. No. We do tons of shots and we have uh, injections for our bodies. No. So the lead scientist on that, he was talking. He does have a quote about this as well. There is nothing like this. It operates at ambient temperature with ambient sunlight with no additional energy input and you can collect water in the desert. This laboratory desert journey allowed us to really turn water harvesting from an interesting phenomenon into science. So that comes from Omar Yagi. And he is the one who helped uh, pioneer this kind of metal organic framework device used in this particular instance at least. So. Metal organic frameworks, which are, you can call it an MOF, a MOF, I don't care. Do, live, allow your, it. live your life. Uh, <laughs> it's a solid material with so many internal chambers and holes that a sugar cube sized uh, metal organic framework would be able to have the surface area of several football fields. So this surface area easily absorbs gas and liquids, uh, but it releases it when heated. So this device, it doesn't need any kind of power source. It would just use the heat from the desert sun in the daytime in order to push the collected water out of the MOFs into a collection chamber in the bottom. And uh, he also worked on a new MOF based on aluminum called MOF 303. And this is 150 times cheaper and captures twice as much water in lab tests than previous structures. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but this device is able to capture the equivalent of um, half a 12 ounce soda can per pound per day. That's cool though. You just kind of leave it out and you have water. And if you don't have water, that's a great thing. You don't need to watch a full season of Naked and Afraid to know this, but just at least one episode, the water is very important. I mean, this could really revolutionize how um, we utilize land, mm -hmm. how people could survive in the desert. This could save lives potentially or bring help water be more prevalent in areas that are really struggling to have water. There's a really awesome episode of uh, Human Planet where they set up a bunch of nets on a cliffside to collect water vapor because they don't get actual precipitation. It is not totally unlike this and it's really a lot of ingenuity goes into it and it's fantastic. Yeah, I love that it all came together in this way that is very useful, very helpful, very inexpensive and could change a lot of life as we know it. Audience, how would you utilize this water harvesting device? Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.